Hey everybody, today I want to take a look at a case by Antec. This is the P120 Crystal White Series case. Uh, it's a mid-tower steel tempered glass case. Uh, I haven't done a lot with Antec for, it's been quite a while. So when this came up in my feed, it really grabbed my attention as a case that I personally really like the look of. And that's really as far as I went with it. So bought it, thought we'd take a look at it. Um, figured quite a few of you might be interested in uh, looking at it or thinking about buying this one. So anyways, let's get it opened up and take a look at it. All right, well, there you have it. There is the Antec P120 Performance Series Crystal White PC case. This is a mid-tower case, uh, tempered glass on the front and sides, as you can see. Uh, one of the main features of this case is this latched door. So just slide the latch down, it opens right up. It's got some padding on here to kind of help protect it. Just rides on these two hinge pins back here. So it's really easy to remove it and kind of get in and out. Shuts nice and easy. So that's kind of one of the main selling points. Both the glass panels have uh, protective uh, film on it that you want to remove after you're done building in it. But let's go ahead and go through uh, all the main features of this case. Uh, hopefully that'll help you decide whether this is a case you want to build in. So coming around the back, you can see that we've got a power supply bracket. Thumb screws, these are a little tight from the factory, but nothing unusual. So you'll install the power supply from the rear. As you can see, it does have a vertical GPU mount and seven PCI slots. There is no vertical uh, GPU cables or hardware included with the case, so you'll need to provide your own. Um, going around the back side, there is a vented filter here, and that is a magnetic filter. I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, again, a couple thumb screws. It's kind of tight on there, it just rides on a couple of screws. And it just kind of unlocks there. Some paperwork and just a magnetic dust filter. On the back of the case here, you get uh, hard drive mounting options. You get uh, four. You get two two and a half inch SSD mounting plates. This is a pretty uh, beefy plate with a nice Antec badge stamped in it. Get those removed. These two thumb screws are for the video card bracket, and so you can adjust that up and down. And the bracket also has a thumb screw on it, so you can adjust it to the left and right depending on what your needs are. So the front panel I/O includes a power switch, kind of a nice chrome power switch there. Reset switch, headphones, mic, and two USB three cables. No USB C is included in this. So, anyways, just the cabling is kind of just wire tied up here for you. And there's not a whole lot of cable management back here to speak of. These two bays up here are for, are for your three and a half inch drives. And there's a little box here with your accessories and instruction books. We'll take this out in just a minute. So I'm thinking I can maybe kind of use some of this for some cable management as well. We'll kind of have to see how it goes. But there really is nothing creative or nothing in the way of cable management that's unusual here. It's pretty, it, it, it's, on, it's on the lean side of things. So. This front panel does remove. I've got to remove some of the other hardware to get to it. So let's start with that. The two hard drive bays. I'm going to remove all these screws right here. There's two thumb screws. And then for this top bracket, there are two more screws up in the top here. Then in the front, there are three screws up at the top here that you need to remove to get this top mounting plate out. I don't know that there's any reason to ever remove this top mounting plate. We haven't talked about it yet, but depending on what cooling options you use, you will need to remove one or both of these hard drive bays. So if you are going to do 320 millimeter fans just by themselves, with on, not on an AIO or you know with a radiator, you need to remove the bottom one. If you're going to put a 360 millimeter rad in here, you need to remove both of them. And so you won't get the option of a three and a half inch drive if you choose that cooling option. But in that case, uh, you don't need to remove this top bracket, but I'll just show it to you because you can remove it. Okay, so once all those screws are out, this whole assembly just kind of lifts out and it is just kind of clipped together. And so they come out separately. And then here's the top mounting plate. Again, I don't think there's ever really any reason to remove that, but it does come out of there. And basically you just expose the top when you do that. Uh, for the power supply, this 
is plastic right here. This is metal. This is plastic. This piece does come out. So there's one screw in the front. And then there's two in the back right here. So three total. All right, once that comes out, you just gotta kinda work it out there a little bit. It is nothing super difficult. And that's it, that piece comes out. So it is plastic, but it's a pretty thick, beefy plastic. So as far as cooling options, again, we talked about you can do uh, three 120 millimeter fans or two 240 millimeter fans over here. If you do the three fans, you got to remove the bottom bracket. To do a 360 radiator over here, you got to remove both of these brackets. Um, if, of course, if you, you can do less. It just depends on what your cooling needs and what aesthetic you're going for. So on the bottom, uh, you can do three uh, 140 millimeter fans or 320 millimeter fans or up to a 360 millimeter radiator. So the, the only question I think I would have is if you were going to do a vertical GPU mount, um, I think that might interfere with putting a radiator in there. I know they make some, you know, some slim ones, but when I do the build, I'll see if I can pay attention to what those measurements might be. So to get the front panel off, we didn't talk about that. There's just four screws. All right. Once all four of those screws are out, front panel is just going to kind of pop off. And that's it. And... Pretty nice, about a one inch bezel around all of the glass on here. Now on the bottom of this case, you, so there is a filter that covers the entire span. It just pulls out through the bottom here. One nice thing about this filter is there's no disassembly required for anything. It just pops out, you can wash it out, dry it off, put it back in. So uh, they do not include any fans. I think Antec was kind of like, you know, we're not going to put some cheap fan in here for you. It's, it's really kind of meant to be up to you what you want to do. So um, as far as cooling, it's meant for the bottom to be an intake, of course, kind of a chimney effect. So you're going to intake from the bottom, you're going to exhaust out the back and exhaust out through this back here. The power supply shroud has a bottom port for your fan. So you're going to want to mount that with your fan down so it will bring in air and intake and then exhaust out the back. There is no filter here, so it will just take uh, warm air from inside the case. Uh, anyways, we'll have to kind of mess around with that and see how the cooling works on this. But I think it's kind of a cool aesthetic. That's really one of the main reasons you would buy this. You could do some custom uh, water loops in here if you needed to. Uh, AIOs, which is probably just all I'm going to do with it uh, to begin with. All right, well, there you have it. There's a quick introduction to the P120 Performance Series Crystal White PC case from Antec. Overall, my impression of it is very positive. I think it's, uh, you know, in the aesthetics department, it's, it's right on. It's exactly kind of what I expected it to be. The fit and finish of this Antec case is kind of what I remember from them in the past. It's a pretty solid case. Uh, the glass is good. I love the latch. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do a vertical GPU in it. Uh, I've got to kind of make some final decisions as to what I want to do there. But uh, I, I think overall it just looks really good. The only downside to it, I think, is what a lot of cases have is, you know, cable management in the back is, is really kind of non-existent. But I think I can make use of these drive bays for that and the power supply bay has, you know, quite a bit of room up there. I don't think I'll have too much trouble with it. So... Just got to get the aesthetic looking just right on it. Anyways, I'm going to do a build video of this in the next week um, or two, depending on how it goes. So I will be uh, you know, shooting some video of that, and I'll put that up here as soon as it's done. So in the meantime, if you have any questions about this case, if I can help you you know, make a decision on you know, purchasing it, uh, feel free to ask. I will do my best to answer those uh, when you put them up there. All right, that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.